Bass, I would imagine overall, I mean, when we've talked to you throughout the year, there were times when you were playing when you weren't and you felt that you really learned a lot from that experience and then you were able to really contribute in the playoffs. How big of a mental development year was this for you to really embrace what it is is being asked of you? Yeah, I, I, it was huge. Uh, you know, looking back and I struggled a bit um, after I got hurt there and um, being on such a good team, there's so much competition and I think it was healthy for us and it was good for a lot of guys, but um, personally, you know, being kind of in and out for weird stretches of the year and then um, ultimately for me being able to do everything I could and then play in every playoff game and, and gain so much valuable experience, I think honestly I ended the year on such a good note. What did that mean to you to be able to participate in those really important games after the regular season? Everything. I, I don't know where my head would be at right now if I missed the Rangers series, to be honest, I, um, you know, had so much fun and playing, playing here and in playing in front of our fans, and um, you know, and that, honestly, that that series meant everything to me. When you look at what your role is in terms of, you know, that rougher side of the game, did you understand a little more how valuable that is in the postseason, the way things kind of ramp up? Yeah, I think. You know, maybe I'm a little biased, but maybe I think the playoffs uh, suit a guy like me. I think um, that's kind of how I play in the regular season is kind of tailored towards playing well in the playoffs. And, um, you know, getting through the first couple of games, I think you could see a lot of us, our confidence grew a lot and, and me especially. And, um, you know, getting that experience under my belt is something that I look forward to to getting the chance to play in again. How have you seen the culture grow with this organization this season? It's grown. Uh, it's grown in, in so many different ways, and we've had so many different guys step up. And um, you know, seeing Nico become a captain three years ago or whatever that was now, he's grown up so much. And um, you know, that comes with a lot of help from guys around him. And um, you know, stuff like that takes time. I think you guys see the way Jack's grown up, and um, this the the whole rebuilding process. It, it does take time, and, and this year was it was a was a step in the right direction. It was a big step. So. Um, the culture keeps getting better and better. Nate, you guys obviously made a huge step forward this year. How confident are you that, that this can you know, prolong uh, and, and stay consistent? Very. Um, you know, our, our, our pieces we have, uh, you know, Nico and, and Jack, and, and you look around the room, and Luke, and, and these guys are on uh, very team-friendly deals for the next eight years. Uh, we're, in, we're in great shape, I think. Um, you, know, you start with those guys, and, and they're guys that can carry a team. Um, and then we just, you know, work and we build around it. Nate, can you speak to what Lindy meant to you as a young player and maybe having the veterans here, how he was able to work with both groups? Lindy uh, obviously has a, a ton of experience, and I think, um, you know, being uh, maybe a little more old school, I think uh, me and him get along pretty well. And um, Lindy's done so much for so many guys in, in different ways. If you look, um, you know, how much he's done for a guy like me and, and somebody who's a completely different player, but even Jack, like the way Jack's game has grown the last couple of years, I think um, he got out uh, about as much as you could have gotten out of the group in, in this year. One of the key uh, pieces this season was uh, depth, and you played a vital role in that because when we saw you uh, uh, injured, the team was struggling at times. But um, I would, I would like to get your perspective as to how you feel knowing that you have such a vital role on this team because depth is important uh, next to, to having some star young pieces. Well, it's the best league in the world, and um, you know, guys, guys bring so many different elements to the table, and I think. Even from a media perspective, sometimes guys, uh, you guys don't get the chance to see what what certain guys bring inside of a dressing room. And I'm not saying I'm that guy, but um, you know, if you miss a guy out of the lineup, you miss the valuable, uh, whether it's penalty kill minutes or physicality, or you know, it could be all kinds of situational things that you know don't show up on the highlights. I think um, it takes a full team to to point the, the ship in the right direction. What are you most proud of this season, just collectively as a team, and maybe individually? Uh, you know, I think every single guy in this room should go home and be proud of their season. Um, I have always, I always have this weird fear that when I'm in the summer, somebody asks me how my year was, and I don't get the chance to say that it was awesome. And um, just talking about it with Lindy now, I think if you had told us at our team building retreat at the start of the year that we'd be playing in the round two of the playoffs, I think 
everyone in, in all of Jersey would be pretty excited about that. And um, for me, it was the first chance to really see how good our fans are. And um, I think I think uh, making the Devils relevant again, putting the whole league on notice. I think it obviously was it was great. Of